I think my love for astrophysics goes back to when I was about eight or nine years old. There was a space shuttle from NASA in the name of Columbia, and it was at the International Space Station. It had done its job and it was coming back. But unfortunately, the rocket while entering the atmosphere blew up. And so that sort of got me wondering, why were there people who left the planet? Given the fact that starting eight, nine years old, I started asking questions about why people were going to space. Um, you can imagine that I asked questions about why we were going to the temple, why we had to celebrate this festival, or why we had to greet an elder the way we did. And so being in India, and the kind of religion that we followed, it was more laws and rituals, but not really answers to many questions. So by the time I actually reached the age of 14, 15, I think I was much more inclined towards defining myself as an atheist. It looked simpler to me to be able to not believe anything. I asked questions and I couldn't get answers to those questions. But those questions never really went away. Um, there's this thing about questions, they'll stay. And as soon as you even get the slightest bit of opportunity to actually come across and try to answer them, they'll come back up. And so when I came to Canada and I started my master's here, I met Christine, who's been a very, very big influence in not only my spiritual journey, I would say, in my life over the last three odd years. Christine one day invited me to church and right out of the bat, the people at church were were just so welcoming. I would have always been a bit chilled off, but people were just hugging each other. Some of them hugged me first time. And that was, of course, awkward for an awkward scientist. But yeah, that sort of made you feel like you could be safer at this place. And I got answers without being judged, I would say. I felt very safe in that environment. And so the more I sat through Sunday services and the more I spent time with them, I realize it's about this dude, Jesus. I think when you think about church, you think about these massive buildings with hundreds and thousands of people. And I think that's the unique aspect about being at a home church. We were four people, five people. And that meant that I could hear everybody, try to understand everybody. But not only that, everybody heard me. Because I was safe, I, I sort of could ask questions, make mistakes, and learn from them. I think what my home church showed me was that there is no judgment. You can come in with any sort of thought process or with any thoughts you want, and we're going to try and emulate Jesus as much as we can. And that was just fascinating to me. I mean, how often in a world like today, do you see people just helping you for the sake of helping you? I, I, in my experience, that was very rare, but that was the case. And I think rich relationships like these and safety like that was sort of what drew me towards Jesus. And then the more I came to know about Jesus, the more I was like, why don't I be that? And I think that's what turned the tides. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to be a loving and a serving human being. And if Jesus can help me do that, I don't see why I shouldn't. And so I don't think I'm scared of the questions. I think those questions are sort of a journey. And so the more I investigate a question, the more I understand Jesus and the more I understand how much I have to go to even come closer to be like Jesus.